Prague Castle looks almost like a small town itself, situated atop a large hill on the left bank of the Voltava River. This largest ancient castle in the world, 570 metres long and on average 128 metres wide, is the most visited tourist attraction in Prague. But Prague Castle is not exactly a classic castle, because portions of it were built in different styles and it spreads out more horizontally than vertically. It is the place where the Czech kings, Holy Roman emperors and presidents of the Czech Republic used to have their offices. Two monumental statues of battling titans over the front gate set the mood as you enter into the vast castle complex, which includes a palace, three churches, royal stables, a monastery and, of course, the manicured surrounding gardens. Supreme and towering over Prague is the magnificent and huge St Vitus Cathedral, an interesting 14th century Gothic structure adorned with fascinating gargoyles that can easily be seen from ground level. Inside St Vitus are some very elaborate tombs, redolent of Czech history. It is possible and worthwhile to climb to the top of the bell tower, which takes you to the highest point inside the castle. From the top, there are fabulous views of the castle and the old town of Prague. Elsewhere around the castle are further places of interest. There is the Golden Lane, a series of small colourful shops that originally served as housing for the palace guards. The throne room for the reigning kings of Bohemia, a great hall that looks like it hasn't changed in 500 years. The outstanding monument of St George's Basilica, the Czech Art Museum and a short walk away is Lobkowitz Palace. Beyond Golden Lane, the Dali Borka Tower is named after a nobleman who is imprisoned here on suspicion of complicity in a peasant's revolt. In the Mahalka, powder tower, alchemists were once employed to discover the secret of turning base metals into gold. There's also a toy museum, which really has nothing to do with the castle, but contains some very interesting old and new toys. The changing of the palace guard is an entertaining affair, every hour on the hour at the main gate, a sort of poor man's version of London's Buckingham Palace routine. The castle dates back to the 9th century, when Prince Borivoy founded and fortified a settlement here. During the 12th century, a Romanesque palace was built, and then during the 14th century, in the reign of Charles IV, it was rebuilt in Gothic style. The last reconstruction of the royal palace was made under the rule of the Jagellons at the end of the 15th century. In that time, the famous Vladislav Hall was built, constructed in late Gothic style, 1497 to 1500, by the builder Benedict Reit. An enlargement of the castle took place in the 16th century after a big fire in 1541. The Spanish hall in a new part of the castle was built in the reign of Rudolf II and it assumed its final form later on during the reign of Empress Maria Theresia, 1743 to 1780, designed according to the plans of the architect M. Picassi. After World War I, the interior and gardens of the castle were redesigned by architect J. Plechnik.